Good morning, good morning. Another day here in Puerto Rico. I'm going to meet my friend and guide for a little walk today. It's beautiful here in San Juan. Very warm, as you can see. It's really sunny here. This is the historic part of town. And uh, I did a little walk through yesterday on my own, but today I'm gonna have a local show me and explain certain things to me. We're supposed to meet at a coffee shop. So guys, these are the different uh, municipalities in Puerto Rico. Uh, represented on these murals that you see uh, right there. I have to tell you, it is so hot out here. I'm like sweating bullets right now. Wow. So first, we're heading to the old part. I want to talk about this building very quick before we head to the old part because we're not, not going to see it. So at the end of the, we can say, end of the 18th century beginning of the 19th no, no i'm sorry i'm sorry end of the 19th century beginning of the 20th century we start a, a modernization of the city that start when we were in possession of the spaniards and continue when we became part of the well the possession of the united states so in that transition this it started with the spaniards they were like we don't need these walls anymore. We don't need this part of the city anymore. So they got, they started demolishing the old part oh, and wow. began to create this new building. Okay. So mind you, they are had more than 200 years and they're very uneven. The Alopines are super slippery. Oh my God, super slippery. If you, today it didn't rain. So if you see one that is wet, just keep it. Don't touch it. So <laughs> be careful of your step, okay? Let's go. So she was talking about the, the stone right there. They're really old and uneven and extremely slippery. So I'm gonna try not to fall on these things. That's the last thing I want you guys to see is me falling down here. Look how old and uneven these stones are. It's crazy. Puerto Rico is very beautiful. I don't know um, much about this place. It's my first time, but I highly recommend it. I'm uh, I'm staying in the old part. It's called Old Taiwan, and it's within walking distance from everything. So I strongly recommend this area if you guys come out here. So that was this is our Guys, this looks just like parts of New Orleans as well with the French balconies. Have you guys been to New Orleans? If not, I highly recommend it. It's very similar, like very French, very like similar, all colorful and stuff like that. What's the name of the school? 
Albizu. Uh, University Carlos Albizu. Carlos we Albizu. have other universities like Universidad de Puerto Rico and other universities también that special they have a department of psychology but not entirely specialized in psychology. This one has to do research and everything. Okay. <laughs> So guys, that's the university right there. That's the only one accredited in uh, psychology here in Puerto Rico. This is the San Francisco church. It is completely intact with a few restorations conserving the original structure. So no alteration, no that. It's very particular this one because it's the first place that all San Juan had like an official place of burying people like like a type of cemetery so we have catacombs here catacombs de catacumba mm -hmm. catacumba we don't have actually the bodies that people tend to ask me like is there bodies there no okay. it's only the ashes or like a plate of commemoration so we don't we don't have actually that so let's let's go inside so this is the san francisco church yes okay this is the San Francisco Street. It's, we have the name because of the... Okay. I had to mask up to get in here. So we're entering the San Francisco Church. They were like active members of the church, like this, like say like priests and all that, like not people outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's where all the ashes are, all the members, you know, people are buried there who used to be part of the church. And uh, we're entering the church now and there's no service, so I can take pictures right now. Guys, one thing I really like in uh, many Latin countries and regions is the churches. They are so beautiful and unique and can be quite extravagant with the massive gold and stuff. But this one is actually very simple. So she said we're gonna see other ones that are much bigger. But uh, it's one thing I like to do when I come in these countries regions latin countries and you know regions like that is visit the churches i'm very interested in like how people pray and uh you know the set of belief like i was recently in prague and they have a lot of churches there but they are atheist it's uh you know the czech republic is the most atheist country uh one of the most atheist country in the world so then you come over here in such a huge contrast to that so guys, I want to show you. I've never seen anything like this. Same thing, the poles right here. How cool is that? I really love how colorful these streets are. You know, this also reminds me of uh, Salvador in uh, Brazil. <laughs> you know, it's very similar, all the different colors and everything. It's uh, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm behind the group here. So we have Choco Bar, uh, Bar is like a restaurant that they have, but it's for the brand uh, Cho Chocolate Cortez. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, and uh, Cho Chocolate Cortez is a um, Puerto Rican uh, chocolate. And they do, they do the, the plantation and the seed and everything mm -hmm. from here. Amazing chocolate. I, I used to freaking love it when I was a kid. Me and my great grandmother used to do me like uh, hot chocolate so we do cho ch chocolate cortez sells like a bar the, Choco bar. one of their classics and you like you put it in in hot water and you just melt it and you eat it and traditionally a lot of people eat it with cheese 
with uh, eh, eh, queso de papa mm. y tú lo metes adentro y se derrite y, te, y lo coges así con, con you take it out with with cookies and all that so I freaking love it when I was little so Chocobar has a lot of things not only sweet stuff they actually sell food there and they have an art gallery in, oh, in the second floor so it's kind of cute the Chocobar yes that's the place you want to go to if you are in love with chocolate like I am I need to go over there at some point I'm like so hot right now Ooh. I ran away from the cold and found myself here in extreme heat <laughs> you just can't get it right Guys, be careful with crossing to there by Diana. He was living well. Look at these beautiful constructions. Wow. So nice. So what happened? That was not something magical that one day they, they started like, oh, let's stop doing that. No. Thank you to Ricardo Alegría, very important anthropologist and archaeologist. He started a process of, we can say, he mobilized the people and and to defend that yeah and they were like this is our heritage we need to protect this and it's something that took a lot of years okay it was like i don't want to call it a fight but i want to i don't want to put it's a connotation but it, it, it was a, a strong process that took a lot of time but we actually we can say one and they stopped the process of modernization. I want to tell you more. They already have like planos, like already designed what they wanted for the entire old city. Wow. And their plan in the beginning of the, the 20th century, they wanted to create something like New York City. So their plan was to do like big buildings, very, very tall buildings. So that was the vision of the moment. Okay, of the government that was in, in charge, that was the vision. So they stopped the process of modernization, right? That's a process that took a lot of years. This was the last buildings. And they started a uh, uh, process of conservation. So they put a lot of strong laws of conservation of the old part. Laws that continue evolving that we have right now. So you see the different colors that has in the old part? That is all established. Todo está establecido. Do you have like a like if you have, every building has a specific color established by the government? Like mm -hmm. this is the color of this building. Okay. The other thing, if even if you own a place, if, it, if the building is yours, everything, everything that you want to do inside, outside of the building, it has to be approved. Okay. You have to ask and and do a process of permits and license and when they they give you the okay then they gonna they tell you step by step how to do it what materials to use all that to conserve the original structure so it's very now it's like very very strong laws of conservation good yeah 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 it's super good so weapon square why is called a lot in little translation you can say Weapon Square Plaza de Arma. So if you see this, the different uh, constructions of the Spaniards and all the territory that they have, including the Philippines, you will see uh, Weapon Square, Plaza.
Plaza de Armas. Mm -hmm. Why this place here? It was not like this, like a like a una plazoleta todo. Uh, it was a military base. So this was the place where the soldiers will change shifts. They will do the salutation and they will change um, weapons. So that's why it's called uh, Plaza de Arma and stay, it stay with that name. So let's continue. Do you know much about him? Yes. Tell me about him. Okay, he's one of the Songwriter, the very famous songwriter uh -huh. in Puerto Rico. Bueno, in the world because all the salsa singers record songs of... Oh, yeah. really? Very famous, the more top salsa. Yeah. From, it's from here. Yeah. Okay. So, Mirando, Lejos. At the beginning of the, of the city, we have Caribe Hilton and they also have a place in they invented the Piña Colada. <laughs> so the Piña Colada was invented in Puerto Rico, but they have a fight that which one invented the Piña Colada. And even the locals have a fight that which one is better. Like Barita China is better, no Caribe Hilton is better. So well, let me tell you the story. So in Caribe Hilton, the burden that was in place with fresh pineapple and fresh coconut and all that, they found the Piña Colada, right? And then a few months later, in Puerto Rico, they launched a new brand with um, bottle pineapple juice, bottle coconut milk, and all the ingredients they use. And Barrita China did the same recipe, but with the bottle products, right? What happened? Neither the ones in Caribe Hinto or Barrita China Patents, did I say patents? Mm -hmm. the, pine, the piña colada, so they both technically can claim that they invented piña colada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so actually here they do like a sample of piña colada. Do you want to try it? Yes. Yeah. 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 You don't have to ask us twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's people that they don't like, they don't, they don't like it all, at all. Wow. So, You're about to try some right piña colada. Now, if you want, you can buy the I'm excited. Drink and we can. That is something new with the pandemic right now. That's like a, a tip that is good to you to know. So before the pandemic, in Old San Juan, you cannot drink with alcohol in the streets. They they will not allow you to take out the drink. But right now, because of the pandemic, they are allowing allowing you to take out the drink. The only thing is they have to Thank be you. in a plastic cup. That is the only rule. No glass, no bottle of glass, no can, no that. It has to be a plastic uh, cup. Okay. They started doing that because a lot of business, because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. they're losing business. Yeah. So it was a way of helping the business to, you know, like you can come. You still have customers. You know, yeah. Take the drink because that way you're making business. So guys, we have your vaccine card or evidence? Yes. Okay, so they're gonna ask you here for the... Gotta get evidence of my vaccine card. Do you have your ID? Uh, yes, I have my ID. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Because if you present the card, they ask You need to check for the idea. So this is the outdoor bar area here. And this is where we're gonna have some of the test things. I was saying that if you want with, without alcohol, and she was like straight up with alcohol, and I was like, you're one of 100%. mine. hundred percent. Because we find a piña colada without alcohol, I don't know. It's not a piña colada. No, 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 no. no. It's not. Who drinks a piña colada without alcohol? No. So we can continue the tour? Yes, let's yeah, take it go. Hola, hola. Hasta que llegue Sin alcohol. Sí. 
Hey, you said you from you from Mexico? Yeah, I am from Piña Mexico. Piña colada, sin alcohol. Yes, but I am. Just drink water. <laughs> okay. Wow. I am the Mexican that don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> Do you drink tequila? No. Oh, okay. No, I don't drink. You don't drink, huh? I never found being drunk wow. in my life. Nice. You should try today. It's a good place to start. <laughs> Say Juan. <laughs> We're about to uh, have a little piña colada. It's taking a long time. I'm getting thirsty. So guys, I got my piña colada. How much is it? Seven eighty-one. Seven eighty-one. All right. This is uh, very pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it. Thank you. I need your tina towel. Alright. We already... Stir it? Yeah. If not, you're going to take a needle. So I have to stir it, apparently. That's right. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Nice and strong. So we are here. The restaurant is called Bahantina. This is the birthplace of the famous Piña Colada. So guys, if you like piña coladas, remember this is the place where it was invented. Okay, Barranchina. The birthplace of piña colada. So it's a beautiful set here, beautiful area. Very chill. So here is where piña colada was invented. Remember, restaurant Barranchina. So if you're here in San Juan, make sure you uh, make a stop here and uh, get some uh, piña colada. It is good. So, that's one, one of, that's a good thing that comes out of the pandemic, being able to walk around and, and drink on the street like this. It's pretty cool. The governor mansion is on that side over there. We're coming back in this area. So we're just gonna go check out a couple of things on this side here and then we're coming back. It's absolutely beautiful here, colorful. Just so beautiful. I don't know if it, in Mexico it's the same, but in Puerto Rico with a uh, uh, pigeon you it says good luck. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's more money. See, the same thing is that it's good luck. Like, they say it, a veces hasta te aplauden y todo. Like, oh, buena suerte, buena suerte, a ese nivel. So what is this? So I was waiting for everybody to be oh, okay, here. So okay. this, what we have here, this is the chapel of the miracle. This is the smallest chapel in the Western Hemisphere. So it's super tiny. It will be like this, and this is a wall. Usually, it's always closed. Not not only with the pandemic, it, before the pandemic. The irony, it was like a miracle when it was open. So it's completely um, covered in silver, completely. This chapel is used to this day for asking God for miracles of health, del para la salud. Mm -hmm. So the tradition, how it works is that you will bring a figure in silver, it has to be silver, ah, or gold, silver or gold, but usually silver. Mm -hmm. And it has to have like a representation of what is the, what are you asking God for the miracle. For example, if you have trouble with your eyesight, you bring some eyes. If you have problem with your legs, something health, you bring like a, a, a little leg, all that. So you ha it has to be like a representation of what is wrong with your body or your health. So you will bring the fear in and you will, and uh, you have like a space where you can as like a mini, mini altar donde you can ask God for the miracle if it is open you will see it's beautiful it's like breathtaking silver is wow. otra cosa, otra cosa. La, el arte, the art is beautiful and we in the in they have one wall completely with the little figures the 
very 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 old and some new ones so you have like it's very cool but you have like the examples of what people have been bringing during the years so bien goofy no they don't have all of them they only have like a demonstration mm -hmm. so let's continue i want to show you a little we just passed the church and now we are facing the original walls. The original walls we what we have right now is half of the walls the other half got demolished we started from there so we started from there this all of this is modern moderno y se puede notar se puede ver what we see from here is the east of the island el este and we see the mountains So guys, what we have here is a building that has the record for the smallest, slimmest in the world. This is an, a building here that is going to be an Airbnb. Look how small that is. And the area is just so amazing and colorful. And uh, it's a really nice place for pictures. And we're walking back towards the presidential palace now. It's really nice over here. The shining of the, the rails, all black. Hola. It's nice. Nice little bar. Right here. Lots of bars out here too. So there's no shortages of bars here. Every corner you have one. So no problems getting some booze. That is one thing I'm getting from uh, Puerto Rico so far. So we have the governor mansion just over there. And that's the governor mansion down there so now walking away from the uh, the governor mansion is completely barricaded on that side you can't see much but uh, we have a lot of like different stores here crystal you have the coach factory right there earlier we passed the guest store so there's no shortages of uh, places to buy things as well if you're into uh, shopping I'll say San Juan is a uh, it's a really nice place to shop and as you can see it's very clean and you know it's a safe place to be it's really really nice look at this uh, building here is nice you know it's so beautiful here and uh, one thing I want to mention guys is um if you have your business here you don't pay federal income taxes so I was talking to a driver yesterday. He was explaining to me that there's an influx of people moving in and uh, creating businesses here. Businesses here. Now you cannot have a business here and then you move to mainland, like live in Texas or California. You have to physically be here. Your residence has to be here. And if so, then you don't pay any income taxes on your revenue. So it's a really good uh, benefit. And when it comes to properties, you only pay if your value, your home value is, I believe he said over three hundred thousand dollars. Anything below that, you don't pay any property taxes as well. So there are good reasons to, you know, to move to Puerto Rico. More stores, pork chop, fancy caribe. You can buy some spices. That's another church right here. It is so hot, like, I can't even begin to tell you, I'm like, dripping in sweat right now. So guys, be careful here, watch your step. Here we have the adoquines and we also have some holes. So be careful, because we're in uh, going down a hill, so watch your step. Oh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, this is my favorite street. <laughs> I love it. Here we have 
Look at this orange and this balcony. Man, I'm in love with this place. It is so nice. Look at this place. Man. Guys, I can totally live here. You, you, you know, totally. It's my kind of vibe out here. I don't know what the rest of the island looks like, but this section is really nice. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Such a beautiful thing. Have you seen anything more beautiful? I haven't. Look at this gorgeous house. How much do they cost, you know? These homes. All the, all the houses are in the millions. All the homes are in the millions. Yeah, and also what are the real estate are in the millions. Oh, wow. wow. That See. goes my dream. I was about to move out of Maryland. Yeah, it's too late well, now. Actually, there's nothing, there's no nothing left yet than right now that are selling because they've been buying all wow. of them. Um, but the properties that are left, all of them are in the millions. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Too late, Ivan. Too late. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Look at this house, man. Oh my god. I need to get a little bit. Have a better view. And you heard it, all the properties here are in the millions. I was about to move, but that's above my, uh, that's above my pay grade right there. Puerto Rico is beautiful. You don't have to recognize that the Spanish heritage is beautiful. That is very true. Yeah, yeah, the architecture because it's it's also Spanish, right? yeah, it is the it's same. Spanish. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Yeah. Beautiful though, way to build. Even though then they do a lot of bad things. Yeah, they did they know how to good build. things. Yeah, they know how to build. Yeah, for sure. I was here last night. It's beautiful. I walked that way though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful here. So I don't know if you hear me. This is one of the two entrances of personal use of the governor's house. So we're seeing it from the back. Oh, so we cannot go through here? No, no. no. So you see, that's why you see a lot of police. Police and barricades. The other one is this one. Oh, the, over there. That we're going to see later on. Oh, okay. So that's the entrance of the governor mansion, guys, right there. So that's why you see these barricades Hello? and then there's security here. All right. Hello? They don't look very threatening, but they're there. And then the governor's mansion is that one over there. So it's beautiful. One. So here was the place where people will enter. It's the, obviously it was not the official station. entrance it was of San Juan. This was the official door. The four doors had a Bible passage in Latin. This one says that everybody that enters is blessed. Okay? Let me tell you super quick. I know you're Aquí hay un poquito de sombra. Here's a little bit of shade. So beautiful today is beautiful wow. guys. Beautiful. Look at this view, guys. So what we are seeing from here, do you see the palms? All that? Yes. That is a small island that is connected by the bridge. That is called Isla de Cabra. And little translation will be Goat Island. Okay. Okay. So what we have from here, actually that is Cataño, all of what we see in, in this area mm -hmm. here is Cataño, the last municipality created in Puerto Rico and actually the smallest, it's super pequeñita, Cataño es bien pequeñita. That was the place that I told you earlier that the ferry goes, mm -hmm. where the ferry goes, it's yeah. to Cataño. So there is a, a beach that is super cute and all that. And they also have a place um, 
una torre, a tower where you can see all the view from San Juan. But do you see the little fort there? I don't know if you can see mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We not we cannot see it from here because of perspective, but it's open sea, mm. mar abierto. Okay, so when you see in the morrow and if you get the opportunity to enter, you see puro mar abierto. So you can go from any direction and then go to esta Ensenada, like this um I don't know how to call it, like this small area. So with the with the fort, the castle of San Felipe, it was not enough. Sometimes the Spaniards, the, the attackers, will sleep and they came here and, and did the attack and all that. So what happened? What they did was to create that little fort for crossfire. Okay, yeah. so that was a lot of try and error to get there, but at some point they como que inventaron eso and what would they do if they had like a big invasion or a big attack coming what we, they would do was in this area here they would explore or destroy ships with a lot of wood so they would create like a barrier so that others could not pass and then they would mm -hmm. do like a trap like lo, entra lo entrampaban and then with the other four crossfire boom 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 okay you cannot see from here but there's the morro so you have like crossfire another detail about that island when they have la lepra the le mm. lepra how do you say leprosy 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 yeah yeah um when it had the the pandemic that island was where they took all the people with leprosy mm. and they will uh, take care of them and at the end of the island we still have the ruins of the hospital wow. la ruina mm. del hospital so let's continue this is some of the residue from the uh the hurricane you know this island was crushed by a hurricane out here it did a lot of damage so i was actually by this area yesterday if you uh, uh remember i walked that way that's basically where it started this is the second entrance right here of the so governor mansion the house. Okay. The you see the view he has right there. That is so nice. For a lot of time, this convent was used if you were uh, rich families and you were a woman and you didn't have anybody of your same status or higher status to marry you, you were automatically uh, turned wow. in and on, 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 on. Yeah, it was a, a way, a traditional way of doing. <laughs> Say it again, so if you could not find a husband, they'll put you in a... No, that was only for rich families. Uh -huh. That was only for rich families. Actually, that's how the convent was created. Okay. Because in one moment, uh, and that's like, a lot of years ago like yes. in the Spaniard time uh, yet uh, actually that's how it's created because in one moment the city didn't have a lot of men of rich families right be careful there so it's that we didn't have men I said we didn't have men of rich families yes. for, uh, we have more women than men uh -huh. and the, if you didn't have if in a rich family if you didn't have a prospect or a, a person or husband of your same status or higher you cannot get married wow so you as a tradition you will always be turned on on they will put you in a convent wow for yeah. only for the rich the, for the <laughs> rich that's correct uh, it is impressive it's like whoa it's the hard work yeah it's the fuerte wow but right now it's a very very cute hotel so how often do you do you come back here to Puerto Rico? Uh, well, I moved. Uh, we moved to the states two years ago. So we moved. Uh, be careful! Be careful! We moved a little bit before the pandemic yeah. started. So we we come at least every six months. Every six months? Yes. What do you like more, here or Maryland? It's two completely different things. Yes. Yeah. But uh, my my island is special. Yeah. I love Puerto Rico, but I I like there too. Yeah. I like everywhere, so it's like different. Yeah. You cannot compare it 
to you different have, stuff. You have a lot, a lot of another things there that you don't have here, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. It's two different things. I think I cannot even compare. Right. So let's continue. So we have here. This is the cathedral. Wow! Look at this balcony, guys. Look at that, man. You don't even know what to take pictures of, what to not. It is so beautiful. So be careful guys, we headed this way. The Dodge invaded and they want the morro and everything, but the morro has a very complicated water system that they don't they Dutch didn't understand, understood. Oh, what is it? Understood. Understood. So. And they by themselves con contaminated the water with their. Yeah. yeah. They contaminated the water, so yeah. they started dying. Yeah. And uh, they started dying, and the ones that were alive were very sick. So they were like, let's leave yeah. because they're gonna kill us. But before they leave, they burned down the city and erupt everything. Se llevaron todo el oro y todo. And the cathedral that was here, the original one, was in wood, so got uh, burned down. So right now, the oldest cathedral is in Dominican Republic. Okay. So this will be the second. Second oldest. So it, they did this, the cathedral again in the same place that yeah. was the original one. Right. Let's enter here. They will get in their knees or they will pray, thanking God that they were alive and they survived their trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, that's why it's located here. And the ceiling is a, a French style, a painting, a French style that creates the uh, 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 optical illusion of three dimensional. So, todo está pintado. Guys, this is Louis Cardinal, a cardinal that was in position in Rome, and he actually voted for two different popes. So, aquí está el cuerpo del. del Guys, this is the this is the rest, lo resto, the body of Juan Ponce de Leon. It's oh. buried here. The one that I told uh, earlier, the first governor. Yes. The one of the first explorers and colonizers, mm -hmm. Juan Ponce de Leon. Okay. So Juan Ponce de Leon, let me tell you super quick how he died. So Juan Ponce de Leon, his family was here, okay? Because he went to the Caribbean and visited the different islands and all that. But Juan Ponce de Leon was the first one to touch what is America, the big territory, he went to Flo Flo Florida. What happened? He was looking, he was obsessed, and he wanted to fi find the, the, the Fuente de la Juventud, la the fountain of the youth. So he was very obsessed with that, and he heard that in that place was nice. Then he discovered Florida and all the things. But when he went to Florida, he encountered with the not, not Native uh, American, the Native, and in that area, the Native Americans had uh, poison in their. ¿Cómo se dice? Arrow? La, la flecha. Arrow. Arrows. The arrow. Thank you. The arrow. They have poison in the arrow, so he got hit in the leg with a poison arrow. So he then they took him to Cuba, and Cuba he dies, and they take the body here oh. to Puerto Rico, but yeah. his family was yeah. here. So we have the, the rest of them. Wow. So here, I'm gonna tell you here, and then you see it. It's the brain. We have the version of the, of the milk uh, painting, a very old painting. And the, when they did it originally, the priest that was in position thought that was very offensive because it had a, a shows the breast. And they hide in the, the painting for a lot of years. And then they found it, they put it they put it back and they stole the, the the painting so what we're seeing here is a replica not the original uh, painting we haven't found the painting since they stole it okay so you can see it okay. the Um, building. When the Americans 
when the, when the invasion happened and, and the Americans took Puerto Rico, they used this place for a lot of years as a military hospital. Then the building got abandoned and a few years, like maybe 30 years ago, they took the building and they do a uh, restore this they restored, restoration restore mm -hmm. the building and now it's the museum and a cute cultural space they have a coffee shop very beautiful so I don't know if you heard this but it used to be a military hospital here when the, the Americans took over Puerto Rico so it just looks like any other old <laughs> government building on this side here I have to say guys like this area is nice you can walk around everywhere it's really cool it's limestone piedra caliza that i was talking earlier so do you see that they covered it this got uh, this happened with the hurricane so it's not a design some people have asked me as this part of the design but it's not but you can see now the, the back of the building the, the all has like this este plaste, este, um, empañetado. And you can see here the, the limestone. So let's continue. San Juan is just such an amazing place. Guys, look at this. Look at this square right here. Wow. So this is this beautiful. Is so the two floors above, we have the American's Museum. Okay. And that, that, they don't only has, have local artists they have a little bit of everything of latin america and african, latin, latin. Uh, uh, african and all that it's a very good a lot of good exhibitions okay yeah it's very good it's muy variado muy okay. variado no es como que solo un tema muy variado so i don't know if you want to go cross directly because we're heading to that way or do we want to take the question we can, we can what, what is the last stop the morro yeah we're heading there right now but this is the esta es la penúltima. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo creo que me voy a quedar aquí. Te vas a quedar sí, aquí. Sí, para entrar. Sí. Ah, pues claro que sí, pero si quieres nos acompañamos hasta allá porque okay. la entrada es acá. Tienes okay. que comprar los tickets. Sí. sí. Pues dale, venga. Guys, this is nice. So, there's a couple museums up there. The Spaniards knew how to build. They really did. Look, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Man, it just, let me do a complete 360. Look at that. How beautiful is this place, guys? Look at this. The palm trees over there. So now we're seeing it closer and I was telling him because of the perspective we didn't see the, the castle but it was like at the mm -hmm. end of that trail so we can see here is like Cabra much much closer so we have the castle and the other walls and in this street if you continue walking directly that is straight up direct we you will find at the end of the same street the San Cristobal castle the one that we saw a sneak peek mm -hmm. the other one so we have this part and the, and the other one and then the wall that's around all the, oh, the city, but we don't have the one of the south because they got demolished. So guys, this is the model. It is a beautiful inside. It's more impressive. It's, and I recommend if you can, go inside. Mind you, they usually don't tell you, but if you buy the ticket in whichever uh, castle or fort, you for 24 hours can save that ticket and you can go you're paying for both of the forts. Sometimes they don't tell you on the entrance and I have people that buy the ticket twice. Okay. So if you're in a 24 hour range with the same ticket, you save it. Maybe you, you don't have to do the both the same day, but you can do one and then later the other, okay? So guys, I was able to get Aria for a few minutes. She was on the hurry, in a hurry, so I have a few questions for her. So this is Aria. Aria, thank you so much for the tour Hi. today. So what are some of the things you uh, people may not know or be familiar with Puerto Rico? Well, if a lot of people, at least in the States, doesn't, don't know that we are property of the United States. So here we, 
we have a lot of the same law we're not a state we have like a weird relationship with the with the state but a lot of things it are is the same here a lot of laws for example the federal laws all are the same here we have the same dollars we have all the things a lot of things that we have in the states we have it here mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. At least in money and all the process. Yeah. We, you don't need, for example, you don't need a passport to come to Puerto Rico with your ID. Then now in the States is the real ID. Yeah. It's more than enough for yes. visiting us. Yeah. Things like that. Okay. Like people sometimes don't know. Right. No, no. Things that we're familiar. like, it's like the visit Another country. Inter international. Yes. It's yes. not international. We are considered domestic. Right. Like visiting a, a, a different state. Nice. So, what is the main kind of food that people like here? So here we are very, I will say that we share that in the Caribbean, uh -huh. the, the, the plantain. Um, Plantains, okay. Plantain, we do so much different dishes with the plantain. Uh -huh. We have a demo fungo, that is something that you need to try. And we we have the tostones, that is a different way that is with the to, with the plantain. We have a lot of dishes uh -huh. that are typical is with, with the plantain. We are very big with the different meats yes. and the seafoods also. Right. Especially in the coast. In, in the center of the island, the mountains, it's more big the, the meats. Yeah. Like the pork and uh, we do every, any, a lot of things yes. with pork and different animals. Yeah. And the coast is more big the seafood. Okay. It makes sense because you have the, the water there. Yeah. And when is the best time of the year to actually come and uh, and visit Puerto Rico? Would you say it's now, like around this time of the year, or? Well, I would say any moment. It is. The weather is always nice. Uh, the weather is the, it was amazing all year around. Okay, good. Maybe if you're not so into the heat, I would. <laughs> if or if not, it's your thing. August, I would say, is our hottest. Month. August is the August hottest. is okay. our hottest month. So okay. if you're not so into the heat, yeah, maybe you can skip August. But the rest of the year is even August is perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. One last question. People always uh, are concerned about safety. Oh, is it safe? What is the area to avoid out here? The areas to avoid. Uh, Maybe you can always ask a local, uh -huh. but it's pretty safe. For at least in Old San Juan, you can skip La Bella, for okay. example. And you can always ask a local what is the area. But in the, nowadays, it's pretty much everything is safe. Okay, it's good. Really. Good. All right, thank you for your time. Thank I know you, so you have much. to run, so I appreciate the tour today. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. So guys, uh, thank you so much. My first impression about Puerto Rico, it's amazing. It is an amazing place. It's about three hours flight from DC. I love how beautiful it is. It's it's really warm, hot as hell. <laughs> but uh, it's a great place. Very walkable city. It's uh, It has a romantic vibe, you know? This is where you bring your wife, significant other, girlfriend, whatever. And, uh, you know, just basically, you know, enjoy a nice little, a few days getaway from the mainland. The food is awesome, the drinks are great. This is the, the home of reggaeton. You know, there's two cities that are known for music. You have Medellin, Colombia, and then you have San Juan, Puerto Rico, you know. Those are the main two hubs for Latin music. Definitely highly recommended. I can't think of something I don't like here so far, except just the heat, you know? That's about it. Mi corazón.